I gotta say, I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna do a little movie review on a movie called Wild Things. Now, I did see the unrated version. I've seen this movie twice. I have not seen the normal version of it. This movie has really kind of blown me away. This is, you know, one of the best movies I've seen recently, for sure, out of the last, I don't know, 20, 30 movies. It's gonna be either my favorite or like my second favorite. I was really blown away by this movie and I'd always heard about it. It's kind of notorious for having some really sexual scenes. I'll kind of get to that later on. I feel like that kind of writes off this movie as, oh, it's just that one movie with these crazy kind of sex scenes. I just thought this movie was going to suck. And then I remember some people talking good about it. I know that it has um, the girl from Scream in it two years later. And then I heard somebody else saying like, oh, the masterpiece that is Wild Things. So I'm like, well, let's just check it out. And I got to say, I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. For the kind of movies that I like, the kind of person that I am, it's a very, very sexual movie through and through till the end. There's this almost constant sexual tension constantly. Most of the time, it's actually done in this way to where it's very obvious, but they kind of hold back from it being over the top, but it's always just obviously sexual. So that's just gonna be happening the whole movie. And it's basically about this like guidance counselor or this teacher, he like teaches people with boats. And then apparently one of the cheerleaders accuses him of rape later on and then takes him to court. That's kind of like the basic synopsis. That's kind of how the movie goes for about 50 minutes. It's kind of like this back and forth courtroom thing down in Louisiana or Florida or something like that. This movie goes way further than that. I just kind of want to give you the basic information because I don't want to spoil anything. So if I were to go in the pros of this movie, the pros was that it had a unique vibe through and through. I can't really think of a movie that has this kind of a vibe. It's like serious, but lots of like sexual tension and it's got this like kind of like funky vibe to it at the same time and I just really can't think of another movie like this and it's really hard for me to even put this in any genre it's like is this a thriller is this like a mystery is this like a slasher somebody like taking out people it has elements of a lot of different stuff in this movie and I really don't even know where I would classify it I mean probably a thriller I would say the first 50 minutes it's really interesting because it sets up this whole world and you don't know anything about any twists and you almost don't think there's gonna be any twists. There's almost no need to. It's already a pretty interesting story how it wraps up about 50 minutes, but this movie twists so much. And at number one, I wasn't expecting any twists. And then on top of that, it twists and twists and twists. And it's kind of hard to even, you know, guess what's gonna happen. I would say most people are gonna not expect a twist and not expect anything to happen later on. You have something in store that's really big and grand and you're able to hide it from me. I just really appreciate that. And this movie was really, really engaging because of that. I mean, I was bored almost at no point in this movie. I watched it, I absolutely loved it. And then I put it on for my friend. I'm like, hey dude, let's just watch like 10 minutes of this movie. And we ended up watching the full thing. Even after just seeing it like a month or so, so ago I was pretty impressed with this whole story and with the twist it actually is nice to rewatch it from the perspective of the twist and I will say paying attention to this movie I did notice a whole big aspect to the story that I missed certain people are related you find that at the very end but I completely missed that about this movie and there was just so much to it. It's so engaging and it moves just at the right pace. Like once you find out some new information, they don't waste your time. You know, you, that people take that information and they act. I just found it to be paced really well and had really, really good, you know, twists in store for you. And then the last pro is that I really like a movie with good scenery and unique scenery. Um, this movie has a lot of beach shots, but it's also like down in Florida. So it's got a very Florida style feel. Lots of going through the glades, lots of crocodiles. There's just so much really good scenery in this movie. And I just, I enjoy that personally when I'm watching something, getting taken away to a different place that's also enjoyable. Really like the scenery of this movie. So let's jump into the cons of this movie. I don't really have too, too many. And again, I watched the unrated version, so I'm, I'm unaware what the normal version of this movie is. I actually might prefer the normal version of this movie. Possibly, I'm not sure. I'd have to see what is different about it. But my main con is the really long sexual scenes in this movie. Now, I don't really mind sexual scenes in a movie at all, but when you have like two minutes of long drawn out sex scenes, it's just there's very few people 
that I would want to watch something like that with, like even with my friend or even with a girl, like, okay, show me some stuff. Okay, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. We get what's going on. Like there's sites online if you want to see long lengthy videos like that. I'm trying to watch a movie, you know. To be honest, I'm a guy, I don't really care. There's so many people that would love this movie that I would suggest to them right now. But with those scenes in it, it's like, I, I don't know, it's just, it, it holds me back from recommending it because it's just so out there and in your face and long. But that's just me personally. Again, I probably it's worse than the unrated version. It, it's probably cut down so much more. So that's why I was saying I'd probably prefer the normal version of this movie. And I'm sure some people absolutely love that about this movie. I can completely understand it, but I just would recommend this to so many more people if those scenes were just a little bit lighter. And really the only other con I have besides that was that it has some dated looks. Like in the beginning, you know, they're driving around, they got some super 90s ska punk rock going a few times. And then, you know, everybody's on cell phones and the landline phones. And you could just tell that they're really, really dated. It didn't really bother me because I remember that time, but I, I could really, you know, just had to put that in there. It is noticeably dated. But to be honest, guys, I really couldn't think of anything else wrong with this movie. I loved it the first time I watched it and I loved it now. I actually just watched a movie called Brick from 2005 and I thought that that movie, I thought that I liked Brick from 2005 more than this movie but after re-watching it I'm not too sure. Versus Brick I found that this one is just more easy to watch. It's very flashy. It just has so much things going for it. I just really appreciated it and like I said I would recommend it to pretty much anybody who likes a good thriller except that it has some of those crazy long sex scenes in this movie that just kind of fill out a place especially once you get to the end because those scenes have almost no even meaning by the end but if I was to rate this movie it's hard for me not to rate this movie like a nine I'm gonna be honest with you like I want to say 8.5 to a nine but I'm looking at the flaws and I'm like I don't see them I like the actors I like the scenery I like the twists I wasn't taken out of it I'm gonna have to go nine out of ten really enjoy this should you buy it stream it or pass it I'm gonna be honest guys, I think this movie is worth a buy. I just really, really enjoyed it. And I, like I said, the hardest part to get through is those scenes, but I'm sure there's people out there watch this movie who love that movie and I, I love those scenes. And I don't want them taken out. It's nice to have them like available to watch. I just feel like the regular cut might be just a little bit better. I wish I could see the comparison so I would know. But anyways, guys, I absolutely loved Wild Things. I'll be very interested to see what you think about it down below. Do you know a movie that's similar to this? Because I feel like this movie jumps between so many genres that it just comes out as a unique style movie. Like I just don't have another movie. Like if I'm craving to watch Wild Things, and to have the vibe of Wild Things, I don't think anything else will do it besides this movie. But we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.